Hi, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a 3D chevron pattern cutting board. Firstly, I cut my 8 quarter walnut into 17 inch sections. I then did the same thing with my 4 quarter maple pieces. After that, I jointed the edges so I'd have a straight edge to use on the table saw. I then ripped my walnut pieces into six, one and three quarter wide pieces, followed by five of the same width for the maple. I then arranged them for the glue up. Since this is an edge grain cutting board, I rotated all my pieces so the edge of the board rather than the face is up. You can see I chose to stagger my strips instead of lining the ends up. The reason for doing this is to cut down on the amount of waste in the next step when you'll have to cut an angle. It'll make more sense in a bit. I then removed excess glue using a chisel before running it through my drum sander. You always want to remove any glue since it will gum up planar blades and drum sander belts. You could also run it through the planer for this step if you had one that is wide enough. Here's the step I was talking about earlier on why I glued them staggered. As you can see, I would have had a lot more waste if they were lined up instead of staggered. I cut my angle at a 35 degrees, but you can get the same appearance with many different angles. With the angle set on one side, I can cut the rest over on the table saw. These were cut at 1.5 inches wide. With all my pieces laid out, I flipped over every other one to give me my pattern.
With the final glue up done, I ran the boards through the drum sander. If you don't have a drum sander, you can accomplish similar results with a handheld belt sander. Just be careful that you keep it flat and level. Next, the ends were trimmed off on the miter saw and the edges evened up on the table saw. This was followed by lots and lots of sanding. This step can be pretty boring, but if you take your time and do it well, it will make a big difference on the finished product. I then gave all the edges a small round over on my router, followed by some light hand sanding. Finally, we can stick it in the mineral oil and watch it pop. After the mineral oil, I applied a few coats of cutting board conditioner to furthermore seal the board. And here is my finished result. If you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.